So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. I'm going to be using leftover wheat bread. I've got some cinnamon raisin bread left over. You can use leftover biscuits, donuts, cinnamon rolls, anything will work. Okay, this is so easy to put together. We've got three cups of our uh, cubed up bread. And this is going to be an eight by eight. And I've got two and a half cups of milk and one cup of heavy cream. If you've got like half and half, you can use half and half. I've got four eggs. We're just going to stir this up good. This is going to be kind of like your, your custard. Now this bread pudding, like I said, we're just going to jump it up a notch with it being a pecan pie bread pudding. But this is it's also a very um, frugal dessert. Um, if you don't have the pecans or the brown sugar, Grandma would just make a make the custard and whatever biscuits and bread she had left over, and she would put a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, if she didn't have brown sugar, she would put uh, just regular sugar, a little bit of nutmeg in it. But this is going to be pecan pie bread pudding. So we got our four eggs, three and a half cups of our milk, two and a half cups of milk, and a cup of uh, heavy cream. We've also got a whole cup of white granulated sugar and I have a feeling that my cup runneth over again. We're going to put a whole tablespoon of vanilla. You want quite a bit of vanilla in your bread pudding. I'm going to put just a pinch of salt. I'm going to stir this up and then I'm going to finish putting my sugar in there. As usual, Lori didn't get enough, big enough bowl. <clears throat> I've not made this in a while or I'd have thought ahead of time and said, Lori, you need a bigger bowl. Now I'm going to pour all this custard over my cubed up bread. And like I said, this is about three cups, three and a half cups, and that's what's going to fit in an eight by eight. Now I'm going to finish and put my rest of my sugar in here since I didn't have room for it. Now you can go ahead and put your little cinnamon in here if you want cinnamon, you know, with your pecan pie bread pudding. It'll be good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this bread soak for about 10 minutes. Four cups of cubed bread usually is too much for an 8x8 eight eight pan that's just about 2 inches in depth. So I usually just go with three cups, three and a half cups, three cups. Okay, I'm going to let this set for just about 10 minutes and we'll come back and we're going to make our, our filling, the, the pecans and the brown sugar and butter and all that. Okay, now we're going to do our pecan mixture that's going to go in with our bread pudding and it's a half it's a whole stick of butter and I'm using salted butter you can use unsalted and then we've got one and a half cups of brown sugar and I'm going to try to use my blending fork I may have to go to just a regular fork the butter needed to be just a little bit more softened but we're going to work with it the best we can. 
I may have to get a regular fork because my arthritis hands, I can't really work with it good. Let me see. I'll get me a regular fork and see if I can do that better, yeah. When you get arthritis in your hands and fingers, it's just hard. It gets hard to do anything. But, uh, like opening even a soda bottle lid is hard. And what I'm doing is I'm just mixing the butter and brown sugar up. And you want it to look kind of like maybe wet sand or something like that when you get done with it. And this will be your crumble mixture that's going to go in with your, your bread pudding. We make a French toast casserole at school for the kids for breakfast sometimes. And it is the best thing. <clears throat> and it's pretty much just like this recipe. It's a really good recipe, and it feeds a lot of kids. I've had a few people wanting um, my hot roll recipe, my lunch lady roll recipe, the big recipe for feeding at least 400. And... Uh, I'm having a hard time finding that recipe. I don't know where I put it. But as soon as I find it, and I did put the recipe in my cookbook, and I am sold out of my cookbook, but I plan on writing another cookbook, and it's going to take me a while to get this one wrote because it's just going to be more, a little more to it this time. Okay, now I'm going to put in my cup. The pecans more or less here these are fresh pecans that uh, if y'all watched my video a while back where I pressure canned them and they're still just as good as the day that I canned them and we're going to mix all this up and then we'll put it in our pan and get it in the oven now you're going to cook this at a 350 oven for anywhere from 45 minutes to 55 minutes just depends on your oven you want to check it ever so often because everybody's oven's different and I always tell y'all that it's just to to check it you know off and on make sure it's not overcooking maybe make sure it's not burning because ovens are just different okay so this is like wet sand we got it mixed up so now, we're going to get our bread pudding put into our baking dish. I've got my 8x8 baking dish here, and um, I'm just going to get me my big ladle that I love get this over here and I'm going to start ladling my bread pudding in here and it smells wonderful the vanilla and like I said if you want to add cinnamon to this you can you can add raisins but because I want this strictly to be a pecan pie bread pudding, I myself I'm leaving that out. This is such a good recipe to have when you got leftover bread and donuts or cinnamon rolls or biscuits or um, just um, bread that you've not ate all you know ate it up and it's been sitting out there and you forgot about it and. Uh, Back in the day, as long as you had a little milk, a little sugar, a little cinnamon, nutmeg, and eggs from the chickens, you'd have a beautiful dessert. 
Now, you don't have to put all this custard in here if your pan's not going to hold it. And that's why I've got it on this right here, just in case it was to boil over. Now, I'm going to take... A pecan pie topping filling and as I put it on there I'm just going to kind of push it down in there just like that and your <laughs> your 8 by 8 pan is going to get full but That's just what the recipe always calls for, 8x8. Eight eight. If you've got a 9x9 nine nine, um, pie pan, deep dish pie pan, that would work even better probably. Just push it down in there. Work it down in there with your bread. How could this not be good? If you wanted to, you could put half your bread in there and then put some of this and then put the rest of like layers if you wanted to. Either way, it works. Just a little bit more. You can do this with walnuts too if you don't have pecans. I know pecans are very expensive. We were blessed with gifts of pecans so many of them, that's why I canned them. So. So there we go. We got it in our 8x8 dish. I'm going to put it in a 350 oven. And I'm going to check it after 45 minutes. Okay, now usually for the pecan pie bread pudding, I don't make a vanilla uh, cream sauce for it. But some of y'all have been wanting the recipe for it. So I'm going to go ahead and make one. I mean, it's going to be good on it, but this is not one that you'd have to have it on there. But uh, it's going to be delicious either way. So that's a half a cup of butter. I'm going to put a half a cup of sugar. And about a half a cup of the rest of my heavy cream. And I'm just going to stir this and blend it. And I've got it on a medium-low heat. And then I'm just going to keep stirring this till it begins to thicken. And then once it thickens and I take it off the heat, I'll put my, okay, I'll put my, that's funny, I've got some of my little grandkids here. What, Sissy? So I'll be back in just a minute. We're going to put two teaspoons of vanilla in our sauce. Two good teaspoons. Like I said before, we want that really good vanilla taste. So I got my heat off of my sauce, poured my vanilla in it, and we're just going to let this sit. And we'll use it later on our bread pudding. Oh yeah, y'all probably watching, I got a pot of beans cooking back here. It's Saturday, and Saturday's a good day to cook you a pot of beans. So, we've got our beautiful pecan pie bread pudding out of the oven. And it looks and smells delicious. Now, the middle of your bread pudding will be just a little bit jiggly in the middle, which is okay. You don't want to overcook it. But you can see how the sides are good and brown. And my little oven, my countertop oven, <clears throat> 
It took about 40 minutes. So that's why I say to, to just watch it, check it ever so often. And it's so pretty. Okay, let's get us a little bit of this pecan pie bread pudding out. With all that butter, it's going to be really ooey gooey in the middle. And it's going to have that bread pudding texture. Kind of falling apart there. And if you want to, you can put you a little bit of the sauce over it, but it's not necessary. So what do y'all think? Y'all think I should taste it? Silly question, huh? But there is your pecan pie. Bread pudding. I'm trying to... <laughs> Not to be so messy about it. Mm. Y'all, this is the most delicious stuff. I just can't tell you. If you want something so comforting, so good, bread pudding is just one of the best things to whip up. So, from my kitchen to yours, please make you a pecan pie bread pudding. And the sauce just it does bring it over the top, too. This is just wonderful. Serve it while it's hot. Eat it while it's cold. Eat it for breakfast. It doesn't matter. Eat it with a big old thing of ice cream. I'm telling y'all, it's delicious. Mm. So thank y'all so much for coming and be with me in my kitchen again today. So I could share another wonderful recipe with you. I got the grandkids with me today. You can probably hear them in the background. But that's our life, family, God family, and good food. God bless everybody. We'll see y'all in a couple of days. Mmm.